On the 18th of September 2020, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Kinnear, a police investigator in Cape Town, was gunned down outside of his home. At the time of his death, he had been investigating a guns to gang syndicate in the city and across the country. The investigation into the guns to gang syndicate looked at how senior officials in the country's criminal economy were corrupting officials in the central firearms registries to acquire guns that they ordinarily would not have been able to get their hands on. Assassinations are carried out by various means, shooting, stabbing, bombing, beating and others. However, in the majority of cases in the database, that is 71%, the target was shot. Also, the data shows that globally firearms are by far the preferred method. If we break down the data geographically, it shows that it differs greatly from region to region. In the Americas, it's as high as 85%, whereas in Africa, it's much lower, at roughly 55%. But this, of course, was the region which saw the guns to gang scandal that had such a huge impact in South Africa. The investigation by Kenya and others into corruption at the Central Firearms Registry was part of a bigger investigation which had looked at how guns which had been handed into the police or had been withdrawn from police use had been subsequently sold on to the gangs. Now that had been done by a prominent police officer, also a Lieutenant Colonel, Christian Prinsluer, who had been behind the large scale transfer of guns into the South African underworld. The guns that Prinsluer sold have been shown to have been used in over a thousand murders and some 1,400 attempted murders.